Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. I have von Hippel-Lindau, a rare disease that causes tumors to grow in different parts of my body. I started a new drug treatment, Belvedozan, in November of 2021. Watch the end for a link to that video. In September of 2023, we traveled from Seattle, Washington to Bethesda, Maryland to the National Institutes of Health, NIH, for kidney surgery. Diana had a robotic partial nephrectomy of her right kidney. In December, we flew out to NIH for my post-surgery follow-up appointment and got some surprising news. Hi, it's mid-December 2023, and I'm at the National Institutes of Health at NIH, where I'm a research participant. It's a very quick appointment. Fly out Monday, test Tuesday, test Wednesday morning, doctor's appointment, get on the airplane and fly out the same day. So, so far I had an MRI and a renogram, and I got to see the doctor. Well, sort of. He had a cold, so I talked to him on speakerphone. So, the MRI came out good. I've had four tumors on my pancreas. Now I have one. So the Belvedozan, the medication, the Wellerig that I had been taking obviously worked there. She said the notes from neurosurgery for my brain and spine are so good that they said they would not need to see me for two or three years. I've cleared ears. My kidneys are pretty much cleared. There's one small complex tumor on my left kidney. It's 1.5 centimeters or something, but they said it was part of its cyst. The only clinic that I need to be checked out by now is ophthalmology because they did see a spot on my right eye when I saw them last time. They thought it was a burst blood vessel. So I am following up with my doctor in Seattle and if she thinks it was a burst blood vessel and not a tumor starting to grow, if it's a tumor, I've got to start the Weller rig right away. If it isn't, I can stay on a holiday off of it for the next six months and see how my scans look. I didn't think that would be an option. In fact, when she told me, I started crying. It's been a long journey. At the end of December, I had my eye appointment and the spot on my eye had healed. In fact, the ophthalmologist was happy for me to be getting a break from the drug, Belzutifan. January 2nd, I had a virtual appointment with my oncologist in Seattle to discuss the plan. I think I support it. I think that they have a lot of experience using the drug there. And, um, you know, the fact that we're talking about it is kind of a nice <laughs> option to have. It means things are going reasonably well. Um, but you've also had, you know, two tumors that really weren't behaving anymore. No. And, no. Uh, you know, one of them was a grade three. I saw the pathology report. It was like a little more Person. nasty grade. You know, still very small. But, you know, I think, uh, but those ones are gone too. <laughs> the doctor bought the command. So, you know, it's a, it's a balance. But I, I'm, I mean, if you look at why, me, the benefit is sparing surgeries and reducing the number of surgeries. Right. And if you don't have an imminent need for a surgery or one that's even on the radar or the horizon, it seems reasonable to take a break. Uh, one way to think about it is this way. If you had never been on Belzutifan and you show up to my office right now, what would I tell you to start? And in your current situation, at this exact moment, I don't know, probably not. Probably say, let's watch you, right? It, it, I mean, it is emotionally kind of like a scary thought, but then it's also relieving too, because it's one less thing. That seems fine. So you're going to go back in the summer, see them again. Yep. I'll see them again and follow up with whatever they don't follow up with here. Okay. Um, well, why don't we regroup in the summer? Okay. See how that imaging evaluation goes and see if there's been any significant change that would say, hey, we did it, you were off it for nine months, and this is what happened, and now we think you should go back on because of X, or maybe everything looks just the same, and kind of keep prolonging the break, that's possible. Yeah, so let's plan to see each other in July. Enjoy your break.
Wow, that's very exciting. Thank you very much. This is this is a crazy idea. I never thought I would have any breaks. You know, when I committed to it, I just committed the rest of my life to it. And so being on a break is a really crazy idea, but uh, how how great is it that we have a medicine that we can do that on? I know, it's really a mark. It's, it's an amazing thing that we're even talking about that, mm. but that's, you know, th things can move quickly sometimes. A conversation so, we wouldn't have had even two years ago, 